So, anyway guys, I basically just wanted to get, I'm about to brush my teeth again, put it on, you know, and do a check. Anyway, I wanted to basically go on here and just kind of demo. So, this is a show on Netflix called The Politician. And I basically, okay, um, I seriously couldn't, I, I could not even get past the first episode because of how, how fucking stupid. Because of how fucking stupid. Yeah, it is in my opinion. And it's just really stupid. Like, on okay. So basically, the plot is this dude Pei, and he, he's like a he's like a rich shit, and he wants to be he wants to be a politician. And so basically, Gwyneth Paltrow plays his mom, and so he ends up falling in love with this classic case and committing suicide, and so he's running against his other girl that. Data do anyway. Basically, I I fucking lost interest after the first episode. I was uh, I was like honestly, this show is fucking stupid. Like, why the fuck? Why would Ryan Murphy make a show that's political like this? Where where the main characters really kind of fucking stupid and ignorant as fuck. Like for example, this is an example. He has a threesome with the dude he's dating and his girlfriend, which I thought was really, really fucking unnecessary and stupid as fuck. Then they become enemies. So season two is out, and season two looks fully fucking stupid. And I'm just like, why the actual fuck did they make a second season? Season one was trash. I normally, when I watch a show, like, I'm normally like this. If I cannot get past the first episode, then I'm not gonna fucking watch the whole thing. So the politician's garbage. This is my opinion. A lot of people like the show. I don't fucking like it. I think it's stupid as fuck. Um. I don't really think a political show like that is, is going to do anything great for the world. I really don't. Ryan Murphy just needs to stick with doing a making horror story pose. Yeah, he needs to stick with doing this. Politician, just hang up. Hang up on politician. Just stop. Another unpopular opinion of mine. Since eight, stupid as fuck. I honestly, I really didn't. Give a fuck. The storyline sound fucking stupid. A lot of gay people were hollering about it and people in my community, but I'm like, oh, no. Since a hell no. Politician, fuck no. No. Because here's the thing. When they come out with gay shows, people are like, oh my god. <laughs> but then I'm like, no. Nah. I'll, I'll brush my teeth and put the other one, but I'll do that later. Any, no, I'll brush my teeth later. Too. Anyway, I basically, uh, I'm, <laughs> for example, well, Victor, I was looking forward to watching it. So I watched half the first episode and I was like, well, fuck this. Let me go watch the season finale. Jesus, take the fucking wheel. Love Victor is bad. I was so mad. Because I, I fucking love Love Simon. And it was such a bad movie. It was a, um, it was a bad show. Love Victor's garbage. What the fuck? This must be a sequel to Love Simon. And well, season finale, he comes out and that's a cliffhanger. And. His girl, he doesn't tell his girlfriend he's gay. She finds out prom, and it was just—it was really stupid. I was, I was disappointed. This is what I'm gonna say: If people are gonna make a show, they're gonna make a show that's sequel to a movie. Please make it fucking good. Don't make it half-ass. Honestly, I felt Love Victor was half-ass. I do, and then I'm disappointed. And I was looking forward to watching it, and it was really bad. And I'm not gonna finish watching the season. I'm not because season first episode. I couldn't get through it because it, it got my fucking nerves. I'm glad I watched season finale, so I, I, I didn't waste the whole time watching the whole season. But, um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, I don't know. But, um, yeah, that's basically my opinion. Um, let me do a recap. Politicians, not a good show. Sensei, didn't really give a fuck about it. Blood Day Jew was, was horrible and bad. Should not have even been a show. Honestly, this is how I fucking felt. They should have done a TV show with follow up from the movie about Simon's best friend lady, not this other fucking Kit Victor. We should. No. You know what they should have done was they should have done a TV show following the book Lay Off Beat, which is a masterpiece. If you've not read Lay Off Beat and you love, love Simon, the book in the movie, check it out because it's such an awesome ass book. And the author's coming out with a new book, which I can't wait to read. But. Basically, that's what I wanted to basically say. I'm going to pop the title. This is my 
my unpopular opinions. But it's my unpopular. I don't know. It's another unpopular opinion of mine, which I'm just gonna get out of the way. Um, Bruno Mars overrated. Never, never been a fan of his. Um, I also think Shawn Mendes is overrated. I think. I think. Uh huh. And that's it. Oh, and I think BTS is fucking overrated too. But this is my opinion. I was gonna now everybody's gonna like my opinions and. And I'm fine with that, and yeah. But um, just know that we're all entitled to our own opinions. I get it if you like Sensei or Trash Titian or fucking Love Victor, which I'm still disappointed about. You know what, honestly, speaking of TV shows, okay, so I'm talking about, I haven't talked about this on my channel, but I'm a huge Buffy, Buffy the Vampire Slayer fan. I, I was obsessed with the movie when I was a kid. When I found out they're making a TV show, I was so excited. And what's good about the show is the show does not just out the fucking movie. It does not. And like, the show is a sequel to the movie. That's the perfect. So, Bernie the Teenage Witch. That's an example. You know, they can sometimes. Not all of them are bad, but well, they just garbage. I'm disappointed. Thanks a lot, fucking Hulu. Like, for. For like pissing me off with that show. Hell, I could have done, I could have made a better TV show my fucking self. Hell, I could have wrapped better shit than that stupid love date. You love the guys.